One of the dirty secrets online is that everyone is copying each other. And it's not just online. Think of the richest brands in the world. Think of Coca-Cola. Think of Pepsi. Think of Burger King. Think of McDonald's. They are always copying each other. It's not always about innovation, right? It's about understanding what works and just iterating on that. So I've built an automation today that's a master copier, right? It scrapes every top-ranking competitor that you have. It dissects their website and it shows you what to copy and how to improve. We used to do this old school. It used to take hours. Now we can do it in an instant, right? It's how you leapfrog an entire industry without guessing. Now off the bat, we are gonna use a bunch of tools and you'll have access to these in the Rank Expand Academy. Check it out. So this website right here, it doesn't taste like chicken. What I want to know is how could we rank this right here higher? Because it's on the doorstep of success, right? It's ranking in the top like six, but if we could get it number one position, it's gonna make a lot more money. This is not my website, by the way, just a random one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna type in vegan dog treats. Do you see it up here? The search volume is 400. There are people around the world who I guess want to buy vegan dog treats for their, their animals. That's cool. There's money here, I'm interested, how do we do it? So here is the top SERP results. In other words, here's the top 10. And where is our company, the, the pretend company that we're gonna rank? Right here. It's like number eight, number six or number eight or something like that. If you have a website that you want to rank higher, you do not have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to copy what is working. And how to do this is pretty simple now. So we have an N8N system that does it automatically for us, right? So we'll go through it. It's a very simple one in my opinion, but very, very effective. This is typically used for landing pages, like a e-com landing page, but I find it useful for SEO too. So if you want to rank higher, right? So this is what it looks like. It works off of this Google sheet. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit. All right, there we go. So right here, you type in your URL that you want to rank, and then you type in basically what is your objective, the service? We sell vegan dog treats, right? And our target audience is owners of dogs that want vegan solutions for their dog treats. And then right here, right? We're going to type in all of our competition. And what this tool effectively does, it looks at your website, compares it against the other websites, and gives you recommendations. Now, the old school way is I jump onto the number one ranking website, which is this website, Halo Pets. And I say to myself, okay, what are they doing? Well, maybe I have like a, a Chrome widget I can use here. And I look at the H1, H2 structure. It's not very sophisticated. So we have to scratch our head. How are they outranking us? Well, if we have this system, we don't have to do that anymore. It's going to tell us exactly what to do. So this is what the recommended output is. So when I give it eight or whatever websites to compare against mine, it gives me a huge output that you can work, you know, line by line and see if it's relevant for you. So it's going to start off at the hero section. So the hero section is the top part of a website. So right up here. What does it say about ours? So I want to rank this one better, right? What does it say about our hero section? What can we do better? Very interesting. So it tells us the purpose of a hero, the content right now, et cetera. But here's the improvement suggestion right here. I will zoom in. So your current site's main dog treat category lacks a distinct hero banner. Okay, quick pause. Does it lack a banner? It does lack a banner. Interesting, right? Add a bold hero with lifestyle imagery and compelling copy to anchor visitors immediately. It's very interesting. So instead of me figuring that out, like all my competitors have these like really strong banners, I don't. It just told us. Now, before we go over other recommendations, how we can use this, right? I want to go over the flow. So this is pretty basic, right? We use a Google Sheet. We like using Google Sheets in the Academy, in the Rank Expand Academy. We like having like a set thing we use. We use Google Sheets instead of Airtable, right? It's just what we use. So Google Sheet, as you saw here, you know, it's all based upon Google Sheets. If it ever loads, we like Google Sheets. And then what we're going to do is fetch user website. So come over here. We're just going to grab the website URL, which we input here in column D, very simple. And then it's going to split the competitor URLs. So it's going to go one by one and kind of iterate through this. Analyze competitors. So I'm going to come over here and open this up for you. Now you can augment this because at this point, what we're going to do is give ChatGPT whatever model we choose, whatever we want it to do, right? And you can see right now it says your role is to act as a senior web strategist and conversion analyst, combining principles of UX philosophy or psychology, layout architecture and conversion optimization. Now you could flip this on its head, right? And you could say, I want you to be an SEO specialist, or I want you to be X, Y, Z, right? It, can be different. You can augment this. And then we're going to push it down to GPT, right? Open AI model. If we came here, double click. We are currently using GPT 4.1. 
and then it's going to basically spit out the recommendation. So not terribly complicated, right? You have access to this in the Academy, but it's super effective. Back to the recommendations. I mean, this is a pretty slick looking website, right? So I was curious what the tool said or if it even mentioned this website at all. So coming over here at number two, right? We have to benefit highlight, right? And have to basically answer why should we have vegan treats for our dogs, right? So it said competitor example, Wild Earths. I'll blow this up, right? WildEarth.com uses an icon illustrated benefit, right? Very interesting that this tool, right? It can pick this up right here, right? And it gives a recommendation. So because we have this kind of tooled to be a UX, a landing page recommendation machine, it was able to see, ooh, they have these right here. That could work really well if we do it over here. Right now, we don't have that. Pretty darn cool. Now it's important to show you like, why does this really matter? And it matters because there's so much money on the table. So this website that we're kind of, you know, pretending like it's ours or my clients or whatever, it doesn't taste like chicken.com. Cool website name, by the way, right? This is what it looks like in Ahrefs. And the DR is 69, used to be 70, humongous, right? That That's approaching what we call like a God tier website. Once you get into like the 80s, you just win. You just kind of win, right? So this is a hyper powerful website. The organic traffic is like 300,000 right now. So this this website, if we go over the last two years, I'm curious, what does the graph look like? Okay, down a little bit. But what we can do, we can come over here to opportunities, right? And then we can say low hanging fruit keywords and we can see which keywords are ranking between position four and 15. I would like to do like four and six or actually let's do eight, four and eight. And what we're able to see is like, okay, we have a page that is ranking. It's not really getting much traffic. It's on the doorstep of success, right? And then we would take those pages and run through the tool. So this one right here, the volume for pumpkin spice syrup, right? If I control click this page right here could be humongous for them, right? Pumpkin spice syrup. Is this just like an animal website or is it many websites? I don't know. But the point is that that right there, if we could rank it higher, it's in position number five right now. We could just push it through this tool and see what it says. Now I wanna show you our to-dos. If you have a website page that you need to rank higher, I'm gonna go over these right now. But before we do, I wanna kinda of show you, okay, number three, the recommendation was featured product grid with an add to cart, right? It was recommended some things there, customer testimonials and social proof, deep dive, ingredient transparency and vegan. I mean, that is the playbook right there. If you can just emulate your competition like Burger King does to McDonald's or vice versa, like Coke does to Pepsi or vice versa, right? You will win. That's how you do it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. But let's say, right, I have a page that I want to rank higher. I'm on the doorstep of success. I'm ranking number five. What am I gonna do? Well, this is only one aspect, right? So we need copy revision, which is the words on the screen. So basically we need to make sure that we are revising the title, the H1s, the H2s, the copy on the screen, maybe add into it, right? This tool gave us recommendations. You can consider UX revisions, right? And all of this I would consider if you did at one time, shocking the system, right, of, of your website. So Google gives it another look because sometimes websites get stuck in these weird ranking factors, like it can't move out of position five and it's frustrating, you have to shock the system. We were talking to someone about that recently at our agency. Uh, then after you do these or coinciding with these, you do a PR blast, so press release blast, uh, guest blogs, and you fix internal links. Internal links come into the page from other already powerful pages and then going out too, right? Very, very important. All of this combined is like the to-do list if you have like a good SEO campaign, if you wanna rank your website higher. And listen, the N8N workflow, the template is gonna be available here. This is one of the fastest growing school communities on the platform. It's all about how to make as much money as possible using AI.